in high school, I guess the main reason I didn't end up going to college is because I did I had no idea what I wanted to do. And to be honest, up until about a year ago, I still had no idea. And once I got a job at Bloom, it just kind of clicked. My brother actually was in the apprenticeship program at Bloom. It really, I guess you could say, inspired me to go towards something like that. And I thought, you know, if, you know, if he can do it, well, you know, why can't I? So, you know, I put in an application and finally, you know, he, he got me a job here at the company. It's a little weird being the, the younger brother, but he's the one at work where I have to look up to him. He helps me throughout the day if need be. And overall, it's just, you know, it's, it's pretty cool working with your brother. You know, to be honest, I wasn't sure I wanted to be in the field to, to start. Once I got here, I started, you know, did the job, got training on it, and I was like, you know, this looks like something that, you know, I could do for the rest of my life. Basically at Bloom, we make hardware for the kitchen cabinet industry, cabinet door hinges, drawer slides. We get these coils that get brought into the company, and basically I'll take that coil and load it onto the machine where we're going to feed it into the machine to make the product. I look at it as kind of like a video game. You keep the press running longer, you make more parts, parts equal higher score. But you know, if I get the most parts or I'm running a certain amount of parts, as long as they're good parts, it's like I got the highest score, so I won the game for the day. It's, you know, it's my favorite part. It's just, you know, working around with other people, trying to figure out problems on how to make it work better or what's more safe and efficient. A good benefit of the program is Bloom actually ha is paying for me to go to school and paying me while I'm there training because it's a part of my training at the apprenticeship. You know, it's a combination of on-site training and schooling. And in the end, I should come out with a journeyman's card and a degree in mechatronics. It's, it's definitely a lot of work because I believe it's, it's 1,800 hours of schooling and 7,200 hours of general on-the-site job training. You know, so it's a, t it's a total of 9,000 hours. And it, that's, a, that's a lot of work. You know, that's, that's four years of work. Being from a standpoint of being out of school for so long, you know, I was a little nervous and scared about doing it, you know, going back to school, like just making sure that I fall back into the way things were and the way I used to attend school. And if you, if you don't have family to support you, it's, it definitely makes it harder to go through everything. Definitely main supporters would be my parents, my girlfriend Alyssa, and I also have uh, two dogs that are, are big supporters of it. You know, they're, they're always there, you know, happy to see me, Jackson, Riley. The dogs I hang out with almost all the time, all the time I'm at home. Girlfriend, she, uh, sometimes our schedules clash and we don't really see each other a whole bunch. It's definitely hard, especially when, you know, you, you want to be together and you want, you know, to share and do all this stuff. But sometimes you just gotta, you know, stick it out. Working here is um, leading towards a, a better life for myself. In the end, it's gonna provide a financially stable career for me. I would like to be happy at the job I'm gonna decide to do for the rest of my life.